In this week's Healthy Bites, we're celebrating National Whole Grains Month with a unique whole grain dish. And Ashley Semper from OSF is here to help us put it all together. So, Ashley, I see a lot of ingredients in front of me compared to previous weeks. It's not that intimidating. Okay. We're making patties, and so you got to flavor them up. We're making Ooh. quinoa patties. At that. You have me at flavor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but did I have you at quinoa is the question. You lost me. So let's okay. Go. You're gonna so give me that. quinoa, this is actually two cups of quinoa. This is already cooked. Quinoa okay. is an ancient grain. Mm. So it's been around for many years from South America, and it's been used more so in America in the past several years, I'd say. Okay. And what's important about whole grains is that, it, just like it sounds, it contains all three parts of the grain, so you don't strip away any of the vitamins, minerals, and fiber. So when you think of whole wheat bread or whole whole wheat pasta, they're, mm -hmm. they're brown in color. They have all three of the parts, all, all of the vitamins and minerals and fiber. When you have white bread, white rice, white pasta, they're missing parts. Mm. And they don't have the vitamins and minerals and the fiber that the whole grains do. And we know that all those things are important to prevent heart disease and diabetes and there's antioxidants in whole grains. So wow. we want to make sure we're choosing whole grains at least half of the time. Absolutely. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know that at all. Yeah. So we're, our base of our patty here is the quinoa. So I actually cheated and bought already cooked quinoa. Okay. I'm not a master of cooking quinoa for some reason. Is it harder? It, it's just water and quinoa, but if you don't have the right ratio of mm. water to quinoa and cook it the right amount of time, mine usually ends up overdone. So I okay. cheated and I, I bought the two cups in the um, specialty food section of the grocery store, like the, okay. the diet food section area. So that's what's going in there. Nothing wrong with store bought. <laughs> I've got six egg whites. Now egg whites are actually the binder to hold this together. So you either have to have eggs or egg whites. I have six egg whites, added a lot of protein to that. Green onion hmm. for flavor. Also three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Okay. Breadcrumbs traditionally are in things like, you know, a meatball or patties like mm -hmm. this. So these are whole wheat panko breadcrumbs. Now, have you heard of panko before? I have. They're like a Japanese breadcrumb, yeah. but they don't have the crusts. That's what makes them a little bit more crispy when they make the breadcrumbs. Cumin and a little bit of salt and then some garlic. So if you want to mix that up. Absolutely. Doesn't matter which. I have two tools here. This you, one? Yep. Use that one. And then I'll get those patties going here. As you can see, I've already pattied up two and started cooking those. Okay. And maybe I'll trade you so you can do the sauce and I'll work on the stir. Yeah. I saw how you looked at it. I'm like, I'm not going to mix this fast <laughs> enough for her. So let's switch. How okay. about that? Switch. What's the sauce? Okay. So we have a yogurt dill sauce. Okay. And most people yogurt have dill. kind of Greek foods with tzatziki. Um, this is a spin on tzatziki. It is a container of non-fat Greek yogurt, just plain. You can use sour cream, like a light sour cream, if you Ooh. don't like the tartness of Greek yogurt. So go ahead and add that to the dish, to the bowl there. What about a cream cheese? Could you get away with that? I would not use a cream cheese in this. It won't be thin enough. You could probably do part cream cheese, part Greek yogurt. I would okay. choose a light cream cheese or a Neufchatel. And then you're just going to add the rest of those ingredients. So a little bit of tomato. I'm going to get one pattying up here while we're... That is grated onion. So I, I literally took an onion and grated it on a grater. Wow. It adds a lot more um, flavor. It spreads it out a little bit. And then that's the dill. So that's dried dill. And um, yeah, just mix that up. And you basically have your own little sauce. Wow. You know, Ashley, every week I find myself thinking the same thing. Where does she come up with this stuff? I don't know what's going on in my brain. It's something, it's a work of genius because. Well, I appreciate that. I don't know. I, I could never imagine myself coming up with something like this. So these will cook a couple, I don't know, six, seven minutes on each side. Let me flip these. And you see that they're very intact, and that's from that, mm. that egg white that mm -hmm. held it together. So they'll be golden brown, and then you can serve it there with the sauce. Oh, and here we go, the finished product. Now, I'm unfamiliar with quinoa, all right? Okay. But we have someone in the studio who taste buds are a little more mature than mine, I think it's safe A little to bit say. more adventurous? Yeah, so we're going to call on um, Devin Mashui, first award meteorologist, and she's going she's to give this... Hold the applause, hold the applause. She's going to have the initial taste, and I think I'll oh, go okay. behind you. Do you. Would you ever put this on a sandwich? Because it looks Ooh. like a hamburger pack. I almost. wouldn't because the quinoa is a grain, yeah. and mm. I, so I probably wouldn't pair it with another okay. grain. Let me make sure I get, I've never um, get some of that sauce wow. in there. Yeah, the sauce. 
When I hear oh. quinoa, I think of um, couscous. Oh, oh, oh. Couscous is a little bit bigger, and couscous is, is not a whole grain. You can look for whole grain couscous, but it's mm. a lot harder to find. What are we thinking? It's good. There's a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. And the sauce. Take I think I like the sauce piece. the most. You're being very adventurous right now. I know, right? Um, it's like a light dish, or like I feel like a good summer dish because it's not like heavy like a hamburger. It's like nice and right. light. Okay, I won't ask you on a scale of one to ten what your thoughts are. I That's like quinoa it. for you. It's interesting. I like I'm quinoa. Branching, <laughs> you're branching out for me. I appreciate it. If it didn't have the sauce, it probably would be a little dry. So if you didn't get a good enough so amount of sauce, I can yeah, see why. Yeah, you like. definitely want to pair it with the sauce. Mm -hmm. It's good enough for me. All right. I'm Absolutely. A big fan. I really like the sauce. I'm yeah. a, have a good show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the complete recipe can be found on our website, 25newsnow.com. Just click on the Healthy Bites tab, and we have some interesting things coming your way. We'll be back after the break. <laughs>